Hey April, this is Matt at Perkins Motorplex. I am back here by the 2022 Sierra that we've been working some numbers on. Um, I sent you some photos of it before, but that was in the detail shop. Not as good a lighting as obviously out in the sun. So I wanted to make sure that I get this video to you and we get that deposit ran before um, we let this one get away. I do have a note in the system that has your name on it already, um, but won't run your card until I, I make sure that this is all good. So starting here on the front, I am just looking for any like indentions along the front, um, anything of that nature. And don't really see much to point out to you. Uh, you can see on the plastic, might've got rubbed a little bit, uh, but that's on the plastic. It's not even on the, um, the actual bumper part and don't see much touch up spots, any rock chips, major, anything like that. Um, all the chrome accidents um, and all the headlights look to be in phenomenal shape. And then here on the hood, everything looks good there as well. Don't see any indentions there. Coming around to the driver's side, you can see the wheels and tires here. Tires have plenty of tread left on them, probably the original tires on those. They are Goodyear Wrangler tires. And then the only imperfection that I saw was a small little quarter-sized indention there right above that driver handle. Uh, that's the only thing I saw on these two door panels and really on the bedside as well. I always check the top of the bed liner or bedside and don't see really anything. And even the plastic up here is in phenomenal shape. It's got the spray in bed liner. Looks like straight from the factory. It does have the power running boards on it. And you can see the, the black accent here on the side, a little bit of wear, uh, which that's, I mean, where you're gonna see the majority of people stepping right there on that spot. So that, that makes sense to have a little bit of wear there, um, but nothing that I'm concerned about. Underneath here looks very clean as well. And coming around to the back, didn't see anything around the hitch um, receiver there to make sure that there was no indentions there or on the tailgate everything looks to be in phenomenal shape and wheels and tires phenomenal shape sometimes the clear coat on these Denali wheels will start rubbing off there's no signs of that um, on any of the wheels that I saw kind of getting tight spots here but looking for any indentions any waves in the panels and don't really see any and you can tell that this side the only one that has any wear is that driver door. Um, the power running boards there look to be in great shape as well. I'll open up the interior here. A little bit more room on this side, so I'll hop on the passenger side. Driver's side, my bad. It's got the rubber floor mats all the way through it. Seats, phenomenal shape. Of course, the storage here as well. And then your cup holder there in the middle. And even more storage underneath. So that is one thing that all the new trucks have gone to. I mean, they've got plenty of storage in the back. It's one of the biggest knocks on a pickup truck over the years that you can find. Driver's seat, phenomenal shape as well. Nothing on the middle console. And there's your exact miles there as well. You can see all your options, heads up display, all your lighting and mirror controls. It's a lot of technology on this. I know we've talked about the warranty a little bit and you can see even all the options down here and all the sensors on it. Um, that coverage is only good through uh, 36,000 miles or three years from when it was originally purchased. Um, so it's already a year, year and a half old. So your coverage on that's probably about halfway over. Um, so I can't stress all of that enough. Uh, we had a Nissan Altima that was fixed at our Nashville location with the warranty coverage um, of a previous owner. And they it was a $5,400 fix for the power um, power seat. So definitely don't wanna miss a chance to help you on that. If, uh, if you've changed your mind on that, certainly let me know. Um, but if you have any questions on the actual truck cosmetically, please let me know as well. Uh, I think you'll be really happy with the condition.